Hey all, here are OS Reviews. Over the past few years, we've checked out a number of really cool modern and unique LED lights, including the viral sunset projection lamp that came out last year, creating this almost artificial looking sun. The light that we are taking a look at today might just be my favorite one yet. A pretty big statement to make considering these other lights we've seen have been incredibly cool, but the moment I saw this, I just thought it was amazing looking and I had to take a closer look. So it's called the Magic Cube Table Light. The description is calling this a postmodern acrylic Magic Cube RGB table lamp. If you look at it from different angles, it has these infinite reflections of different colored cubes inside. Seems to also go by other names, including the Noxu Cube Light or Infinity Cube Light. And again, just really dazzling just looking at it. In fact, it even seems to come in other shapes as well, but depending on how much room you have, because this is a physical light 3D a cube, essentially, you can take that into consideration. And uh, the effect, though, will be pretty similar on both variants. All right, so here it is, the cube. Right now it's turned off. We just have the other lights around it creating some effects. and. Overall, as aforementioned, the sides of the cube are made out of this acrylic plastic material, but it still feels pretty sturdy. In fact, the entire base, though, is constructed out of aluminum alloy. It really is a true cube. And on the inside kind of hints at another smaller cube. When it's turned off, the effect is not really apparent. In fact, it looks like just a regular kind of mysterious looking blue box. Uh, the magic really happens, of course, when it turns on. Again, the frame here on the bottom, like I said, made out of metal. It's got some soft touch rubber feet on the corners that prevents it from sliding around on a surface or a desk. And then simply just plugs in using USB. So it can be powered by a computer, by any standard, uh, let's say USB adapter into the wall, and there's just a power on and off key, and that's pretty much it. There are some protective wraps or kind of like a film or screen protector of sorts on all of the cubes sides, which you should peel off to give you the most dazzling effect. But before we do that, just a quick size comparison. Here it is next to a phone that has roughly a six inch screen. So we can see that this one is roughly, I would say 8.75 inches, which I do believe is gonna be one of the smaller variants which is available. There should be one which is almost twice the size. But again, keep that in mind that it will both sell for a bit more as well as take up even more space. Almost reminds me of something like an obelisk, uh, especially when it's in this mode where we don't have any of the film protectors removed, everything is just a little bit soft and muted. Turn off the lights, kind of the overall shadows that it casts on the wall. It's in this really beautiful aura shade as you can see there and just looks extremely pretty and inviting. It is all created due to these acrylic plastic shells, almost holographic looking colors and changes depending on how you are tilting it, as you can see there from various angles and degrees. The illusion slightly breaks if you're looking at it from the bottom though and you lift it up, you can see that inside it is indeed just powered by regular LED lights. Like I said though, this definitely looks best once you have the protectors removed. Peel this off and you can start to make out just how much brighter it is. And now we can see the big difference between the protective kind of matte surface versus the shiny surface here if you do remove everything. Rainbow colored as we are shifting it from greens to blues and reds. You can see here all is happening. Now let's try and actually peel off, uh, let's say another layer of tape here from one more side. Almost this opening up this window looks like to a portal from a different world, and that is just how dazzling it is. Now we can see even more infinite cubes stretching into the abyss. The box within a box design, I have to say, is also really clever, especially since it almost looks like the rim is lit brighter. Just a beautiful light, I have to say. You can probably leave one side of the cube still with the protective wrap, if in case you prefer kind of showing a softer color, especially since one of it might be facing a wall anyways, you might as well just keep one with the protective wrap uh, like we have here, and that just creates a slightly different effect. Uh, of course, there can always be improvements. Like I said, if there was a built-in app or Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, that could be pretty neat. In addition, if they can maybe somehow even find a way to add something like a fancier, maybe motorized base that can automatically rotate it every once in a while so it can slowly spin by itself and you see all of these cubes moving, that could also be just really interesting, but I suspect that will also add to the cost. Uh, so as far as the first generation lamp is concerned, I do already think this looks awesome. Once again, here's what it looks like on the walls around you. So it's not just the light itself that's beautiful, but everything around it 
creates this really soft, beautiful glow. So you can check out more details if you're interested in the links down below. For now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching Cure at OS Reviews.